So how long is a dog or cat actually supposed to live for? I mean, how long can we be blessed to have them in our lives? If we look at the literature today, it'll tell you that a dog is supposed to live around a decade, maybe 11 years, and for a cat, maybe 12 years. But is that enough time? If we actually go back and talk to veterinarians who used to practice in the 70s, they will tell you that the average dogs used to live to be 17. So recently I was asked to do a TED talk and it seemed like a no-brainer. I wanted to talk about why dogs didn't live as long as they did. Why weren't they with us longer? And so when I started to dig and started to search around the world, the answers that came back were mind-blowing. I was finding animals around the world like Maggie, the 65-pound Kelpie from Australia that lived with a dairy farmer, lived to be 30 years old. I was finding other Yorkies and other types of dogs in the United Kingdom who lived to be 25 and 26. And of course the tales of a 27-year-old V vegan border collie from the UK named Bramble. This is where I stumbled upon the largest observational study to date. This was a 30-year study that was being conducted by Norwegian researcher Thomas Sandberg. This man was assembling data to find out that if food played a role in longevity and in cancer and the metabolics of an animal. And already halfway into his research, the results are mind-blowing. When these pet owners made a modification to the diet and they started to add fresh foods or they took that animal from birth and added fresh foods, they could literally truly double the lifespan of a dog. And then it tied back to cats. Jake Perry, the 85-year-old plumber from Austin, Texas. This man literally shocked the world not once but twice by setting the Guinness World Book of Record with a 34 and 38-year-old cat. And when researchers came banging at his door, they found that he had 22 other cats in his household and one-third of those cats lived to be in their 30s. And so, when I started to interview these people and ask these people what on earth were they doing, it seemed like the biggest piece of the puzzle was nutrition. And I think this is something that we're not focusing on enough. So if we have all of this data at our fingertips, if we can literally go behind our computers and research and see that nutrition and diet plays such an impact into the longevity of our animals, if we say to ourselves, no, we're not satisfied with a decade, we want more. And the key to that puzzle seems to revolve around eating fresh foods. Why aren't we doing more of that?